Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Igvoli or Val or Eva, formerly known as Cute and Cuddly. I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but I thought I'd start with something pretty new. Um, I've been experimenting with Bureoid, Unity, Blender, so I thought I'd uh, start a series on um, tutorials of how to do stuff, make custom uh, Bureoids for streaming, uh, YouTuber stuff. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, for the first one that I'm going to do, a lot of people requested it. They wanted to know how to put fangs on their Bureoid. And actually it's very more simple than you think it would be because I had to learn it the hard way by making fangs and then realizing that you could just add it in in Unity and it's already preset and you don't need to do anything. So, uh, what I'll be using for this tutorial is Vroid for the model. Um, and then I'll be using Unity and then VC Face. And all three programs are free. I'll try to find links and put them in the description. Let's see, uh, let's use the, the kitty one. Okay. So just get up close and personal. And you might be thinking, oh, but can't you just put it in in Vroid? Like, isn't there a settings that a setting that gives it to you automatically where like in the what is it, emotions or yeah, facial emotions, like if you scroll down, um if you open the mouth, and you can see oh fangs and all that, and you can can't you just export it like that? Nope, doesn't work. Uh, when you export it, it does not register as um, like you, that you did anything. It's just there for actually when you put it into Unity. That's where we'll, where Unity will come in after. So what we'll do is usually you'll go through, you'll make your model, so you'll adjust it, adjust the eyes, put textures in, um, you know, do the hair, paint on the hairs, texture the hair. Um, then you'd go into the hair editor and you'd put bones for the hair so it moves when you're moving. You'd do the body, clothing, all that. And then you would go into... To export it, go into camera slash exporter. Go under export. Go under the material reduction. Remove enable hair combination. So make sure that's unchecked because that will mess with your stuff. Uh, hit export. And then usually what you'll do, you'll name it. So I'll just name it Fangs Test. Uh, I'll put Eve for me. The version doesn't matter. Uh, hit OK. So these are all permissions. So if you're doing commissions and things like that and you're sending it, these are permissions that you can set into your Vroid so they can't do certain things. But I'm going to leave it as that. Hit OK. And I already made a folder in my Vroid thing. So I'm just going to name it. So put it in a place where you'll be able to find it. So I'm just going to name it Fangs Test again. And save it. And then we're going to open Unity. Create a new one. Name it Fangs Test like I already did. And I want it in this folder. So you'll hit the three dots. Go to the folder you want. Select folder. Create. Give it time to load. Okay, and now you're in Unity. So the first thing you're need, gonna need to do is you're gonna need um, a plugin. So I'll try to find a, a link in the description for you for it. It is also free and it is a, a VRM importer. So the way you import it is you go into import package. You don't, when you download the uh, file, it will be a zip file, but you don't have to unzip it or you don't have to extract it. Just leave it as is. And then you go in and put it in a place you'll be able to find it because every time you open Unity, you'll be you'll have to um, import uh, the plugin for every project. It does not do it automatically, so that just uh, just giving you a little hint. <laughs> Don't lose it. Put it in a spot with it that you'll be able to find it. And um, yeah, so import pa uh, assets, import package, custom package, and then I put it with the Vroid stuff. So I called it Unity files. I have a few. Uh, it is the uni, VRM, 
Unity package. And I'll open that, let that load. And then you have all this stuff. So don't touch anything, just import it. So it might take a while, so but let it uh, go through all the way. All right, so now we will go into the VRM. It's at the top here. Click VRM, Uni VRM, and whatever number you have, import. Find the reroid that we just exported. So I put it under tutorials, things test, open, and then it will make a little folder for the Unity thing. So just save it where it, you know, within that. I suggest not moving it, but it's up to you. But um, I'm going to save it in the same spot, same name. Okay, so now you have all this stuff. So this is the VRM that we just imported. So click it, drag over here. You could always click and drag onto here, but I find that it, I don't know, it gets placed in an odd position. Um, you can hide the light and camera thing. You don't need those for now. But yeah, there's your, your thing. Okay, now we'll go into blend shape. It's right here. And you want to go into blend shape. Make sure that all of your items are there. I'm just going to extend it so I can see. And your emote, emo, the blend shapes are pretty much the emotions um, of your Vroid or your YouTuber thing. I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Not too small so you guys can see. So now what we're going to do to enable the fangs is to go into each one of these. And I'll show you which ones I do. I usually I do A, I, U, E, O. And that's the when you're talking. And then I'll do the emotion, so angry, fun, joy, sorrow, surprise, and extra. And then I will leave the rest. You don't need the rest to have things. So in the neutral, you will go down, scroll down, go under face, click the little arrow, and then you'll scroll all the way down. Now, you're going to see these six um, little face emotion things. They're called fung. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be called Fang. Might be a translation error or something like that, I'm not sure. But these are all the... Like if you remember in Vroid, when you had the scroll wheels for um, to add in the fangs, it shows you that you are able to do it, but when you export it, it doesn't show. These are the same ones, but when you export it here, it will actually import into your uh, VC face when you're uh, using the program. So what I'm going to do is so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to start off with one that has an open mouth to see what fang versions I want. So I'm going to do that. Go here. And then you can just click and drag to see which ones you want. So those are small ones. Those are the lower ones. Upper ones. Like shark teeth. Bottom shark teeth shark teeth and then obviously you could um, do more than one so for example if you wanted that and then you wanted larger top teeth um, if you wanted larger like putting more sharp fangs with the fang like you can mix and match like you can do a lot of stuff it's really cool so let's see let's just do it like that and let's just have fun with it I'm just gonna add a little more a little more just to make her a little more creepy. So let's lower that a little bit. So we can see what we're doing. So I suggest going with numbers that you can pretty much put it to each and every emotion so that it's the same. So that's so we did the fung one up and fung two. Fung 1 up is 40, Fung 2 is 38. So I'm going to go through and do it on each and every one, and I'll probably fast forward through this.
Now, sometimes if I see that I don't really see much of the fangs, I will actually go in and extend them a little bit more. Like I will tinker with each one. So it shows when you're doing that emotion. And okay, so that's all of them. And now we're gonna go into here. So you'll select your Uroid here, go into VRM again, go to the bottom, Uni VRM, and now export humanoid. And again, you'll name it, put whatever version, author is you. Um, you can change the thumbnail. And these are the permissions again. And then you hit export and it'll show you where you want to export it to so i'm going to do it um in the tutorials and i'm gonna not change the name too much just put in done and then i'm going to save it and then we're going to open bc face and then we're going to Go find our Vroid that we just exported. So I was under tutorials, done. There she is. So just like that. Hit start. And I suggest you move your mouth when you're first starting so the uh, movement gets followed. So there you go. See? You have things. Ah. And of course, your emotions do work. And you get fangs when you're talking as well. That's why you do them for each emotion. Yeah. Hopefully that was helpful to some people. I uh, took me a while to figure it out. I looked everywhere online to see how to actually do it without making a 3D model or altering the model itself to get it. But this is actually much simpler for those who want to put in fangs without the hassle of putting it into Blender, um, adjusting it, and uh, then importing it into Unity again, and then into BC. BC. So it's, it, skips a, it skips a step. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys like this kind of tutorial or video, let me know. And if you have any other questions, I'll try and answer them as best as I can. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, take care.